This video will try to explain how exposure works as quickly as possible. First, you have the sun, which creates light that reflects upon objects in our world. Then, you have a camera that tries to capture this light. The light enters the camera through a lens, and there are three basic functions of the camera that help control light so that you get proper exposure, a photo that isn't too bright or too dark. First, there is aperture. The aperture, also referred to as the iris or f-stop, is the diameter of a hole inside your lens. The bigger the hole, the more light that enters. The smaller the hole, the less light. Big hole equals brighter image than a small hole. The confusing thing is that the smaller f-stop number represents a larger opening. For example, going from f1.4 to f2 decreases the size of the aperture, and therefore allows less light into the camera. So if it's very bright outside, you may have to decrease the size of the aperture, but that is actually increasing the f-stop number. The next function to control light is the shutter speed. Cameras have a shutter that opens and closes to allow light into the camera's body. The faster this opens and closes, the less light comes in. Even though one second may seem fast to you and me, that is very slow for a camera shutter speed and that would mean a lot of light entering your camera. Shutters can go faster than one thousandth of a second, and these fast shutters allow us to capture moving objects like this hummingbird. So remember, a longer shutter allows more light in, so you might have to slow down your shutter speed if it is dark outside. The last function of your camera that controls exposure is the ISO. The ISO is basically the sensitivity of your camera's sensor a digital wonder that captures the light and turns it into a digital photo. The higher the ISO means it's more sensitive and makes a brighter photo. The negative side to raising your ISO when it's dark is that it comes with grain. So the higher your ISO, the more grainy your photo will be. Depending on your camera, you'll be able to raise the ISO higher without getting grain. The art of photography is to balance these three functions, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO to get proper exposure, and the photography masterclass dives deeper into each of these functions. But hopefully, now you already understand a little bit more about your camera and how to use the manual functions to get proper exposure.